Aloha YouTube, what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero and welcome to episode 23 of our new-ish Ultra Moon Expanded Let's Play, the most in-depth playthrough of this game on YouTube. In the last episode, we took on Kiawe's trial and an unexpected member of our team came through to get us that victory. If you do want to check that out before we get started today, make sure you click the icon up at the very top of the screen. In today's episode, we're going to make our way towards Mallow's trial try and get just continue on with this Akala Island challenges. If you're excited for today's episode, make sure you hit the like button down below. Do subscribe if you're new. I am so confident that we can make this the best Let's Play on YouTube. I just need your help and I appreciate the support you've given so far. Um, since, the last episode, since the last episode, I've slept, I've been to church, I've been to the gym, I'm ready to go. And Rotom's asking me, hey, do you know about the secret ability that we Rotom have? You can possess appliances. I ain't no new Pokemon trainer. I ain't no new Pokemon trainer. Saw some appliances at Professor Kukui's place that look comfy. I bet other Rotom could possess them. All right, let's start off with a quick team recap to remind myself what we're working on. <clears throat> First up, we have Frisco, our level 20 Oricorio with Air Cutter, Peck, Pound, and Feather Dance holding the sharp beak. Then we have Lindsay, our level 24 special Rock Ruff, the star of our game, um, with Rock Tomb Bite, Thunder Fang Tackle, holding the Normalium Z. Then we have Negative Vibes, our level 21 Pokeball Eating Munchlax, with Chip Away, Brick Break, Defense Curl, and Amnesia, holding the leftovers. Then we have Aru Kenimon, our level 22 Araquanid, with Bubble Beam, bu uh, excuse me, Bubble Beam Bug Bite, Infestation, and Bite, holding the Quick Claw. Then we have Buttons, our level 23 starter Dartrix with Razor Leaf, Peck, Tackle, and Ominous Wind holding the Scope Lens. And lastly, we have Jet, our level 23 Umbreon with Bite, Faint Attack, Quick Attack, Sand Attack holding the Amulet. Cool. Eden. Like we said, we are going to be leading with Frisco in this episode. It all just came back to me doing that, doing that recap. So, here's the thing. If we get to a point that Rockruff is ready to evolve, we've got to switch out. Or excuse me, we've got to restart the game. We've got to change our clock settings. Look at that Magmar. Look at that Magmar. Now, I've said it in previous episodes, after we finish Mallow's Trial, we are going to do... Finally! Yes! You! You passed Kiawe's Trial. Well done, okay? That means you can now ride on Charizard. Oh wait, I'm not even giving him a voice. Uh, in that case, why don't I tell you about a great way to play with the Pokemon in your boxes? You ready for this? Press X to open the menu and then tap on Pokemon to take off, okay? I'll be waiting for you and your Pokemon to visit. Alright, let's get through Pokemon quickly. Alright, I'm gonna drag Pelago this way. Place of that. That's literally perfect. Wait, Festival Plaza's on the front page. I have to switch that off. Hmm, we ain't clicking Festival Plaza. Pelago is here! Glad to see you again. This is it, Poke Pelago. These uninhabited islands exist solely for the delight of Pokemon. If you remember me, you can call me Moan. I'm in charge of keeping Poke Pelago running. And you are a domino, right? Okay, then let's get things started. The block of Blickerbocker, but right now we only have one small other Blickerbocker and a one that's by the ground. Poke beans love delicious stuff. We should immediately on the poke poke the red poke beans. Okay, as long as you poke stock and see what happens. Poke speak stock. Add your story card. You listen the best by little Chris Bean once a day. So because it's surprising, you get to see what I do. Got to win me time. So I'm not going to actually hold on. Let me. I know how to do this. Hold on. I'm not going to do this on camera much. Since this is the first day, I'm going to go ahead and grab some. I think it wants me to do an upgrade. Yeah, you ain't faking me out. Okay. Yep, yep, know all about it. Yep, I'm familiar. Yep, I know all about it. Yep, thank you for telling me. Uh-huh, gotcha. Has anything changed? I don't think anything's changed. Okay, come on. You can stop. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine if I would have read through any of that? That would have been wild. 
Let's develop islands. Okay, why? Why do I need this? Alright, 15, 30, yeah. <clears throat> this way we can get some more. Alright, and let's develop 30 and 90. Okay, so I need a, I need a few more. Alright, great. Let's go ahead and exit. Yes, we will leave Pelago. Perfect. That didn't take long at all. That just took a couple minutes. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Refresh. Place of that stupid thing. All right. <sighs> oh, that's the, uh, that's the Fiery MZ. Congratulations on Kieran Kiawe's trial. In that case... What is this tunnel? Here you go. You're free to pass. Captain Mallow's trial is right up ahead. Go along Route 8 you'll find it. Lush jungle. It's a bit dark and spooky, but we need to go through the tunnel. Whoa, dividing peak tunnel. Oh, you know what time it is. You can already hear him. What is this? The numbers keep climbing in my aura readings. Oh, Domino, I bid you Alola. Hmm, this is fine tunnel. It is most fascinating to learn that there are a variety of construction methods made possible by the Pokemon that lend their aids to humans. Trial goers clear many trials. It is only natural, perhaps, that such a trainer would exude aura after coming in contact with so many totem Pokemon awash in aura. Oh, and you, young man, you seem to have even more Z crystals than when we last met. Do you hope to master the Z moves? I sure do. That wondrous light that appears when a Z move is used. We had once said has well, we once had such a light in our own world as well, and it was precious to us even if we did not use it to battle with Pokemon. Captain Psycho, it is nearly time. All our technology is advanced; it must be modified to work with, to its fullest with Pokemon. We must go now to meet with a scientist who is versed in the ways of Pokemon, or we will have no hope of achieving such a thing. My voices are terrible. My robotic voices are absolutely awful. They're awful. They're so bad. Oh my goodness. What is this? Island challenge marker. If you let your Pokemon evolve, they'll go stronger. By the time you learn new moves, it'll also change quite a bit. Let's complete the island challenge. Okay, thanks. Route 8. Oh, Daddy. I want to know more about a Rangaroo. Oh, oh, what shall I do? Is there someone with the Rangaroo? I'd like to show your Pokemon to them. Sure. Any Rangaroos? Okay. I don't have an Rangaroo for you. I'm sorry. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I want to see an Rangaroo. How come that's not a rare spot? I have no... Can we please get different colored shoes? Alright, what's in here? I know it used to be thing as was before. Why, hello, trainer. Looks like you've got a Pokedex on you. How would you like to do a little part-time work on behalf of the Aether Foundation? Sure. What's Aether's role in this game going to be? We at the Aether Foundation work to protect Pokemon through conservation. Right now, we're surveying the, surveying the Gumi that live in lush jungle. The Foundation is collecting its own data, of course, but we'd also like to know what the Pokedex, uh, what data the Pokedex records about them. Your job, if you should choose to accept it, would be to register Gumi in your Pokedex. All right, hold on, hold on. I'm over on the screen. Uh, so this is on. This is what episode are we on? Twenty-three. So we have an Aether. Uh, Aether quest. We're looking for Gumi. All right. That's fine. I'll, I'll know what I'm talking about. And then show us the data. We will pay for the work, of course. I hope you will help us out. Give me these Pokeballs. I want to know what's in them. See this, Vulpix? It was bullied by Team Skull, and now it's scared of people. Huh? Vulpix is twitching his nose as if it's trying to smell you. Oh, this is the first time I've seen it get... First time I've seen it go up to someone on its own like that. Maybe it's something senses something special special about you. 
Wolfix seems to calm down when you're around. Do you think you can come and visit us from time to time? Sure. And so now I'm going to type Aether Vulpix. Oh, thank you. Did you hear that, Vulpix? This trainer is going to help you out. You could just come with me. Vulpix is shaking slightly. All right, Vulpix, let's eat something. You haven't eaten a decent meal in a long time. Oh, I know. How about we all share a big Malasada together? I think Vulpix trusts you enough that you could get it to try a Malasada. Let's do it. I'm not going to feed my Malasada to anybody. Vulpix began eating the big Malasada little by little. We did it! It's eating the Malasada! This is thanks to you! Do you think you could come back and visit Vulpix tomorrow or whenever you have time? That just reminded me of something. Hold everything! Put a pause to everything. I'm gonna press down on the D-pad. We gotta fly to Paniola. That just reminded me. Yesterday, this woman in Paniola told us to come back. Mara. It is now tomorrow, IRL. Let's see what it says now. Well, apparently it's not tomorrow, tomorrow. Apparently it's just like, kind of tomorrow. Also, I didn't make it far enough in the cave to, uh, I didn't make it far enough on the route to be able to fly back to it. All right, that's fine, that's fine. I really like how Pokemon are just like wandering around. I think it's really cool. Oh. What is this gonna be? Is this a ducklet? Oh, it's an invisible. Okay, I understand. Alright, let's uh run. I will catch Kecleon another time. There's another Kecleon standing right there. All right, cool. Can't worry about that. All right. Are we going to meet up with someone right over here? Be oh, hello. Greetings. <clears throat> I recognize that man. So he just stands there. You there. Oh, uh, no, I didn't like that voice. Hold on, hold on. I got this, I got this, hold on. Oh, excuse me, I am a scientist. My name is Chorus. The theme of my research is bringing out the potential of Pokemon. What brings out the power of Pokemon is, I believe that is the bond they share with their trainers. And thus, my attention is drawn to trainers like yourself. Trainers bound to the Pokemon through the power of their Z-Ring. Now that I think of it, I never asked your name. Domino, is it? I'll remember your name. Commemorate our encounter. Let me give you a TM. Are you putting in stats about me? Are you are you writing notes right now? It's actually mad, like efficient. <laughs> flame charge, huh? If you're able to utilize flame charge fully, you'll be able to have a great battle with the totem in the next trial, the lush trial, the trial in lush jungle. Z power. Is it the true potential that I seek? Does it surpass the mega ring? Apparently there are uninhabited islands for Pokemon called Pokepalago here in Alola. Alola is fascinating. I believe I will stay in Alola for some time. Well then, Domino, I hope you will excuse me. I've had quite the curious requests made to me by a couple of the of most oddly dressed strang strangers. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Did you hear that? Did you hear it? Did you hear it? What? What? Find up the Poke Finder? Was it going to be a stuffle? What is happening?
happening? There's nothing here. I give up. Yes. It's such a cool chance to do something. You just like threw it away. What the heck was that? Hey, you there! In the battle, the sky's the limit. Are you ready to send your Pokemon into the atmosphere? What do you say? Might you be interested in the move Sky Drop? You want to beat every, every trainer on Route 8 and we can talk. Alright. Want that. Whoa, if you want to be embarrassed. If you want to be embarrassed by me, I mean, I'll destroy you. I will end you. Trumbeak. You know, that Trumbeak's not as cool as my Trumbeak. You know, I was actually thinking about switching out our Oracorio. Because Oracorio is not going to get Revelation Dance until like level 40. So we could use... I'm kind of talking myself into it right now, aren't I? Hmm. Because like we could use our Shiny until we get to those levels. And then I could level up the Oracorio to use. But also at level 40, we might have a totally different team, so... I kinda, nah, I'm gonna stick with Oracorio. I'm gonna stick with Oracorio. Alright, Oracorio, let's show them what we got. Let's hit that air cutter. Hit that air cutter. I ain't gonna do nothing to me. I am an Oracorio. Oh, The bar goes down much slower than it did in... Uh, really? Don't miss. We can't be missing out here. The battle could have been over. Instead, I'm gonna have to heal you now. <sighs> Alright, let's keep going. Let's keep going. I've kind of lost track of time somehow. But we're good. We're good. We're only at 17 minutes. We're gonna make it to at least the Pokemon Center before we call it. Oh, whoops. I didn't exactly mean to jump there, but let's see what we got here. Can we get like a pearl string? some money okay I was about to say big pearl that's fine with me fine with me uh, I should heal right because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be more trainer I should have that's okay all right you know now that the first two days of launch are done I have to start balancing I have to start balancing this game with life because I had the first two days that the game was off uh, just to chill and that's why I'm talking about this actually being day three that the game is out and it's we're already on episode 23 because I've just been going in and just recording as much as I can because I'm uploading a whole lot um, but now I have to start balancing life I have work today, I have work tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, I go out of town Thursday, Friday, I have work like, uh, I have so much work, no, that's okay, I enjoy what I do, so it's fine. Also, you're level 21, maybe I should go back, oh, that's, that's how we do it, Frisco, now don't miss, don't miss, Frisco, there we go, maybe I should go back and do all of the water stuff, no. I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. I just don't want to be overleveled for anything, so trying to find the balance of when to do stuff. But there's a lot. When we decide to go back with Lapras, it's going to be like... I'm going to try and do it in two episodes, because I know that, that that backtracking and not progressing with the story can be annoying. Not as fun to watch, but... This is a, you're, you're just now teaching me about physical and special, and we're on the... Uh, we're in the middle of the second island. I knew that was going to pop out. That's that's okay. Because I have a Pokemon out front. Also, we need to get back to Route 2 Pokemon Center and turn this quest in. Because we finally caught a Crabrawler here on Akala. I found the other person whose Let's Play I'm watching also didn't find a Crabrawler on Melee Melee. This is like the perfect route to start using Frisco the perfect route to start using Frisco. We got a Lumberry. We got an Orenberry. We got a Chestoberry. We got a Cherryberry. Alright, and we have a battle right here. You 
look at me when I'm freaking talking to you? What, are you trying to be like those Ultra Recon people? She said, trainer detected. We'll now commence attack. Rising Star Nikki, you ain't fooling nobody. What you got? You have a stuffle? This is the first stuffle I'm seeing. I'm also not going to use Beware because I used... I think I used Beware in my last playthrough. I think everybody uses Beware because it's just... The whole co oh, crap. Never mind. I did not realize that thing was normal fighting. I thought it was just normal type until it evolved. And then I thought it went to normal fighting. It's not pure fighting, is it? I was that. I found an Ultra Ball. Oh. All right. Must be bad. Oh, hi. Greetings. Research, research. I shall research the Pokemon. Ooh, it looks like I skipped an area over here because I took the north way. Looks like there's a little bit of south area that we need to... After we... So wait. Scientist Tyrone? Interesting Pokemon choice. Um, let's go into... Oh, duh. Let's go to negative vibes. I was thinking about using Brick Break. I don't know what I was thinking. I wonder when negative vibes will evolve. Like, this thing's happiness should be pretty... Should be pretty happy. It's been on our team for a while. Oh, gosh. Smack! Yeah, you're not living that. Having Brick Break early in the game is broken. All right, if he sends out the other fossil, Ammonite. Switching buttons. Our levels are, we're pretty low, le well, we're, we're on par. I would say we're on par. Um, trending over, trending over leveled, but I mean, we're not too over leveled. We just, our team is, I, I like our squad. Let me know what you think of our squad. Checking this out. Found a miracle seed. Okay, that could go to. Uh... That could go to our. Um... There's this dude in, there's this dude near here who says that he wants to make the whole theme park full of nothing but Pokemon restored from fossils. Really, you don't say. Who this girl, Hal? Who are you talking to, Hal? You got that game? Hey, hey, Domino, have you ever heard of this? I hate you, Hal. You better shut up right now. I guess it's like a festival or something where lots of people get together and supposedly have fun. You, I can tell you've been to Festival Plaza before. Visible Plaza seems pretty good, huh? Even my old Gramps tried it out. It's great to get to meet so many different folks. Now I'm gonna have to have some fun with my team. How? Don't do it. It's a trap. I'm telling you how it's a trap. How? It's a trap. Do not. Whatever you do, how? Don't go there. Do not go there. There's like a five minute. There's like a five minute tutorial that you can't get out. You can't get out of that luxury ball looks nice yo jet has the jet is living in luxury that is our luxury pokemon all right two things left to do in this episode first oh 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 okay hold on Okay, maybe this, depending on how long this takes, maybe this will be the last thing that we do. Is this guy, is this all the same? I do remember, ooh, I knew there'd be something. Okay, seeing the, how that was laid there though, I wonder how many things I've missed. Now, I was think is Rare Bone, is that, the, is that the item I think it is? Is that the thing that, um... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Can be sold. Oh, okay. Never mind. 
I was thinking that that was what you gave Alolan Marowak. Welcome to the Dream Park, where dreams become reality and fossils become Pokemon. Someday this whole place is going to be filled to bursting with Pokemon from the ancient past. That's my dream for this, the Dream Park. Bring the ancient world back to life. I don't remember if he ever actually did anything. My bro is super strong Pokemon, you know. I borrowed my bro's Pokemon without asking, actually. If you want to have a battle, let's do it. I'll beat you, no sweat. Probably should have ended the episode before this. <clears throat> Why do I feel like this is going to be over-leveled? You better not be over-leveled. You better not be over-leveled. Okay. After that one trainer on le oh, I should have I should have been smarter than that. Look at how much damage that did to me. You don't have crunch or anything. You don't have you don't have bite. Reversal. I don't think that's gonna do a lot. That actually he actually healed me. Did you see that? My hit my hit points went up. Rewind the video, you'll see it. My hit points actually went up. Watch, 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 watch! It went up. I was like, what happened to my audio? I accidentally hit it. Woo! Yeah! Nice! No, my big bro's Pokemon! Maybe you shouldn't steal your big brother's Pokemon. Why? My bro's Pokemon is super strong. Why did I lose? Hey, you! Oh no! Hey, hey, big bro! You brought my Pokemon out again without asking, didn't you? I... I'm sorry. It looks like you got soundly defeated, too. Yeah, but all your Pokemon are super strong, big bro. I don't get why... Even if they have potential, you don't let them fight properly. Pokemon can't unleash their full power. You can only understand how strong your Pokemon are by giving them love and attention on a daily basis. If you want to win with borrowed Pokemon, you need to train yourself, too. I always blame my Pokemon when I lose against friends. But that's what's been preventing me from becoming really strong. I'm going to spend more time with my own Pokemon. I promise I'll beat you together with them, bro. I won't let you win easily. Sorry you had to get tangled up in this weird situation. Take this for your troubles. That's all? What? Right, I'll race you back home. Yeah, see you around. That's it? That's it. That's it? Wow. Wow, that's wild. Alright, how many rainbow beans did I get? Because I might just go ahead and do Pelago. Talking about this game being pretty difficult. You know what? Without the experience, without the experience share, I think it's only fair that I can do Pelago. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and call that an episode. Today's episode, we did explore most of Route Eight. Uh, eight. How are we already on Route Eight? Anyway, we explored most of Route Eight, um, where we met with Colrus and we met um, the Ultra Recon Squad a couple times. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit the like button down below. Do subscribe if you're new. We're gonna make this the best Let's Play on YouTube. It's already the most in-depth Let's Play on YouTube. If you give it a like and share it out, it would be super appreciated so we can keep on growing. And we'll see you for the next episode of Pokemon Ultra Moon, the expanded Let's Play. Until then, have a blessed day.